All right, we're back. What are we doing today? Uh, we're gonna move this trailer to make a little room for a project coming up. We're gonna try to move the old mule here. Not quite exactly set up for a uh, trailer moving, but she's a workhorse. I think I've done a video on this before, but yep. One of them Harbor Freight, Razy Uppy, Thingama Wobber. Yep, that's, it's a little, it moves it. <clears throat> I guess I'll show you what I'm doing. Oh, there's a, there's a morel stump. I didn't make it. There's morels in the area. Keep your eyes peeled, kids. Kids, <clears throat> I can't speak. So, you can see here I've removed my topsoil pile. I had a topsoil pile there about oh, eight feet tall that I reserved when I put this road in from the forest here. And uh, moved it down the back of the building there to top dress my front yard after I uh, well I'm gonna rip all that front yard out that those idiots did with all that concrete I'm gonna rip all that shit out use this dirt here which is not topsoil that's just low just dead so I just got a bunch of it just to pile there I'm gonna put that back in the hole that I dig then we're gonna top dress it with that I thought I saw morels over here hold on a second yeah right there bam I spotted those while we're operating <laughs> I'm mushroom hunting right running the, running the skid loader. How great is that? Oh, we'll pick those in a little bit and eat them. That's right. I already got like seven big ones the size of my hand soaking in salt water right now. So, yeah, this it's a light coating of crushed concrete. It's holding up pretty good. I mean, I ran multiple trips with a skid loader full of dirt. It hasn't depressed it. It's really wet right now. Rain. It's going to rain this afternoon. Probably next week I'll get started on this project, but... Finally got the machine back here. You know, this is kind of a mess, but there's, you know, when you're making omelets, you gotta have a chicken, right? <laughs> and you gotta crack some eggs, obviously. Well, let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to do a, yeah, we're gonna do this thing here. I think I got the, I got the blocks out. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see what happens, right? We're definitely gonna go for, uh, yeah, let's lock it. Just, you know, just in case we get in trouble, right? Here we go. Oh, yep, dummy. Put in low and go forward. It's probably gonna be far more useful. Let me uh, see where can I put my hand. Is that gonna be in the way? How do I do this so you can see what I'm doing? Here we go. Get some speed going. Sorry if that was crap filming, but you know, when you come to my channel, you can't expect anything but crap filming. So this is this is a treasure. Some people would say, well, "What do you got that laying there for?" Well, it hasn't been installed yet, but like sometimes when they're giving away chain link for free, you just go pick a spool of it up, dude. You know, not everybody's got unlimited chain link budget. My favorite kind of fencing is free fencing. I'm just preparing for the apocalypse, man. You know, you're not, if you haven't been practicing, you ain't gonna make it. How are we, how are we looking? Uh, let's go. I'm just gonna park this bad boy right over here. I think I'm gonna call that perfection. Have we broke anything yet? Nope. You know, wooden, wooden block, always. I have gra graduated to the, uh, you know, the old uh, modern, modern era as well. 
but uh, you can't have enough of them allegedly it's a pretty good old trailer I rebuilt it a few years back the fenders were all smoked I you can kind of see right there and I crack it and I re-welded it rewired it repainted it put new tires on it uh, that's the trailer I'm going to use to uh let's go put my sport side by side the day I get my sport side by side so don't worry I measured it fits <laughs> It fits. Well, this ain't going well. I'm trying to remember how I do all this. Where'd that hook go? This is not really a one-handed operation here. Apparently it's turning into a one-handed operation. How could I do this? Can I, can I get a finger in there and film? Yeah, look at that, multitasking. The multiest of tasks. I need a block for that. Probably would be a bad idea, but I'm sure I've got one around here someplace. Uh, if I was up, oh, asking you shall receive. So I just have one of those laying around, just in case you park a trailer, right? <laughs> Try to figure out what people do with. Is that, am I all the way down or am I all the way up? What am I, what's going on here? Oh, it, oh, she needs some lube. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Jeez Louise. Can I lift this thing up? It's a pretty well balanced trailer. Uh, how do I do that without like making a disaster? I mean, this is a disaster already, but I got to get some lube in that thing. It's way too, way too stiff. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, yeah. See, that's what's so nice about a light machine. You just move it by hand. Yeah, problem solved. All right. Let's go back down. Take a look at what's happening. Anymore. Yeah, so we got rain coming in like an hour, and then I think I got like at least 10 days of no rain. The grass seed I bought, let's see, can I turn this around and talk to it? I can't really tell. I'm looking at the mirrors here. The grass seed I bought, I got one fast germinating, that's seven day germination, and then I got like three other varieties. Between the three, I hope something grows. But yeah, I'm just gonna rip that whole front yard out, all of it about six to eight inches down, dig all that garbage out back until I hit native soil. Oh, I forgot to show you this. Because my, the grass has gotten so long, I had to mow it. That was just sitting on the top. I didn't dig this out of the ground. This was all just sitting at the top. This is a five gallon bucket. That's what I found with the metal detector. That was an inch below the surface. So that's what I'm, that, this is what I anticipate finding once I start digging down like an inch or two inches. I'm gonna find chunks this size. Because I'm finding, this is what I'm finding at the surface right now, just from one winter. Like that was at the surface. Like I think it was that showing. And then I pulled all that up, just at the surface. Not, I'm not digging it up. I'm just, I just walked the yard and pulled that shit out. And it's all this rock. And I didn't pick up the half inch rocks. This is all one inches or bigger because I'd be there for a thousand years. That's why I'm just digging. I mean, there's a piece of slag. I found, I found yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I pulled that out just, just so I could mow it because it was about a foot tall. And then I'm gonna re-sculpt the whole thing and yeah, whatever. So most of this pile, I think, or a lot of this pile is gonna go at, they got put there, I just dumped out the dump trailer. Did a pretty good job. And that all got leveled just with a dump trailer. I didn't have a skid loader here. I just brought the loads here, dumped them, and I made that little platform. It's way too much dirt. I'm gonna end up working on this bank down here, get that all finished out, perfected. Well, perfected. More better -ered. So this is gonna be the top, this is the top soil pile. 
the bottom of the pile was still dry. So that's, it's a decent amount. It's probably not enough, but it's, it's what I got. Uh, around this part of the world, the soil isn't very good for growing stuff. It's, uh, we call it los or lus. It's a type of clay with no nutrients. So this is all like forest topsoil. You know, a few hundred years or a thousand years, you get a couple of inches of black dirt. So if you could see, the forest used to be this high here. I mean, you might be able to see the, the band. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So it was about a foot and a half of black dirt. About right from there up was like black soil from the thousands of years or whatever. And this is the, the native soil. It's called Los. It's not very good. So when I dug all this out, I reserved all that topsoil. I made a pile of it because, like, it's a gravel road. I don't need good topsoil there. But I cleaned all this up. Like, it all, it all slagged back over. Like, I had to backfill that because that was a low spot. The old road used to be here, obviously. That's the old road to go up, but I just swung it out to the, make a better shot at it. It was kind of, that was kind of sketchy, that part there, but it's starting to rain right now, so. So this is what we're gonna rip the yard out with. We got the uh, the tooth bucket on there. It's an oldie buddy goodie. Bought that thing off Craigslist, re re refixed her up, welded some Hooks on her, repainted it, sandblasted it. Well, we're dialed now, so stay tuned. Exciting uh, rip my yard out content coming soon. I think that's about all. I guess stay safe. I'm gonna re-gravel this shit too. Fresh gravel's coming in here when the project's done. We'll freshen that up.